Oh, good morning. Um, Sunday morning, it's just gone 11 o'clock and I've just been to a stand in the park in War Jackson Park in Hartlepool. Um, about, I'd say about what, 20, 25 people there met some lovely people, heard some harrowing stories of things that have happened to people in this lockdown and as a result of vaccinations and the plot thickens, it really does. So I'd highly recommend people come along. Sunday morning, 10 o'clock at War Jackson Park. It's, they're meeting by the bandstand. Um, so yeah, I'm, it's it's been an interesting morning and a few things to, a few people to follow up with, a few things to follow up on. Um, they're doing this, as I said before, about 600 parks are now participating in this. It started in Sydney. Um, and it's, you can sort of, there's a, a kind of a camaraderie around it and people talking about things and talking about things that they won't get in the media and just, just connecting with each other and, and um, getting to know each other. So it's really, it gives you, I said to one woman, and it does, and I meant it, it gives you some sort of hope that people are willing to come together when they're finding things difficult. Um, so I'll be back. I'm in the world next Sunday, so I won't be here next Sunday, but I will be coming back whenever I can. Uh, and I highly recommend it. So look up, it's on a, a standinthepark.org. If you look up, you'll find your region on that website um, and try and get along. Because it is really, yeah, it gives you hope. It really does. Okay, um, live stream tomorrow evening at half seven. We're going to be looking at coronavirus in a little bit more detail and what we, what's happened so far. And particularly some of the lies that have been told and some of the confusion that we've been subjected to. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow. So enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll see you on the live stream half seven tomorrow.